while I was taking a break to do my eyebrows, I realized that my camera was a little crooked. So sorry about that. Uh, but also I was thinking about the people that are going to wonder why I'm giving these people attention. And the answer is I'm not really giving them attention. I wanted to bring attention to their wrongdoings and why we honestly need to stop supporting people like this. If you look at um, Jeffree Star's channel and his views and stuff like that, I don't think he's lost nearly as much subscribers as honestly he probably should. He has way too much of an influence on the internet, way too much of a sway, and people just kind of like excuse him for stuff that he shouldn't be excused for. I know that YouTube demonetized the Jeffree Star series, like the whole palette series on Shane's channel. Um, I think they demonetized his channel. I don't know. I could be fabricating stuff. I do know, however, that Morphe has taken the Shane X Jeffree collection out of their stores and off the website. However, they have yet to take Jeffree's merchandise as well as their collaboration off the website and out of the stores as of me filming this. A little interesting there, Morphe. So to continue from where I left off before the eyebrows, again, this is my opinion, my take on this, but I think that Jeffree Star kind of spearheaded the whole narrative that James Charles is this terrible, problematic, danger to society and manipulated a lot of people. I don't think that Shane is this master manipulator, but he's guilty just as much as Jeffrey is, just as much as Tati is. I personally think that Jeffrey probably exaggerated or made up these stories to fuel Tati's fire and inevitably led to her posting this video. They were probably like, yeah, post it. You should, you should expose him because she was already angry about the fruit snacks, the gummy bears. <laughs> That's so mean, um, the vitamins. <laughs> um, but she did get really mad over vitamins. However, I would like to reiterate that I don't think every party is innocent and I'm not trying to excuse any of their behavior. Tati, uh, I know that her age, all of their ages actually, are being brought into a lot of arguments. Um, and people are like, well, that's ageist. Bleh. Yes, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can be manipulated, but um, I feel like at any time Tati could have just pulled the plug on it. Uh, at the end of the day, she's the one that posted the video. Shane didn't post it, Jeffrey didn't post it, James sure didn't post it, she posted it. It was her channel, her platform, her words. She posted the video that destroyed James Charles for a few months, that you know put him in a really bad mental spot. If she was so worried that he wasn't going to listen, that he wasn't going to put his phone down, then at that point she should have just like washed her hands of it and moved on. Because, and I say this all the time, if you know me, I always say this, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Which essentially means that you can show people that their behavior or something that they're doing is not good, it's not, it's just problematic. but. You can't make them change. It has to be that person that wants to change, that wants to be a better person. So speaking of James Charles, <laughs> is that so problematic? <laughs> you know what else I think is a little sus? That whole like thing where Marlena Stell of Makeup Geek was gonna like make a documentary or be in a documentary or something about the makeup world. And then James Charles called her out and was like, you don't know anything about the makeup world, sir. But then he was like, I'm gonna make a documentary. And then James and James, <laughs> Jeffrey and Shane were both like, No, I don't think that's a good idea, sweetie. And then turned around and did the exact same thing with the conspiracy palette. But okay. Side note, if you did buy the conspiracy palette, um, I know I did. Don't throw it out. They already got their coin for it. Like, don't waste your hard-earned money because you no longer support them. Use the palette and just don't tell anybody, you know, what's on your eyes. They'll be none the wiser. Just lie. At the end of the day, I think we could all learn a thing or two from Jenna Marbles. I am a little biased when it comes to her because she's inspired me for many years and she's a big reason why I started my vegetarian vegan journey. I'm not in a position to accept her apology by any means. However, if we've learned anything from YouTuber apologies, that if there is a way to apologize, the way that Jenna did it is definitely it. 
you know, she didn't give any excuses. She presented the proof of her wrongdoing and she held herself accountable. It's, I don't know, like, it's just really not that hard to just genuinely apologize from the bottom of your heart as a human being for the stuff that you've done that upsets people. I'm really, really sad that Jenna is leaving YouTube for the time being or forever. But I always say mental health first, and it's obvious that she needs that time for herself. She needs that time to collect and get better. You know, we're still going through a pandemic. I'm sure that's really stressful. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. <laughs> I think it also speaks to her character how serious she is about, you know, changing, about becoming a better person and learning from her mistakes. Also, I'd like to add, uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but just because Trisha Paytas is, is that how you say her name? Trisha Paytas? Just because she's speaking out about, like, racism and how it's wrong and all that stuff and calling out all these people, it does not make her a noble person or someone worth praising. It doesn't change the fact that she's offended all these communities for her insensitive content that she does for like, laughs. She's not excused from holding herself accountable because she wants to expose all these YouTubers for their problematic or racist past or present because i don't know if y'all know but jeffree star was exposed for making racial comments as early as valentine's day not one not one two people have come out and said he's not a good person multiple people not even just two like over the years so many people have come out and said that jeffree star is just not a good person get better idols be better and get better idols. Have you ever watched Bailey Sarian? I'm gonna link her channel down below. She just reached a million subscribers. I love her. I love her. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her unless something comes out. Bailey girl, don't get me wrong. I love her. She's so wholesome. I feel like she gives off that like bitch vibe, but she's so pretty and she's just so wonderful. And I love her videos. Unproblematic, never involved in drama. Samantha Ravendahl, who also made a video regarding this situation, which was beautiful. I've watched her for a really long time as well. Unproblematic, honest, and a talented makeup artist. And that's that on that. As always, thank you guys for watching if you're here till the end. And if you have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see going forward, feel free to let me know. That's it. Get better idols. Give me, give me love, give me, give me love, give me, give me love.